because the Lord has been mighty good to us. He has kept us all week long and we give him glory. We give him praise and we give him glory because he's a good God. And we lift his name higher. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, we give you glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, you are good. You've been so good. Lord, you are good. You've been better than good. I can't praise you enough. I owe you my life. Can't praise you enough. Even if I try, cause you've been so good to me. Can we all just lift it up together? Lord, you are good. You've been so good. Oh, Lord, you are good. You've been better than good. I can't praise you enough. I owe you my life. Oh, oh, you my life. Can't praise you enough. Even if I try to you've been so good, so good. Is that anybody's testimony? You've been so good. Lord, you are good. You've been better than good. I can't praise you enough. I owe you my life. I owe you my life. I can't praise, praise you. you enough. Even if I try, cause you've been so good. So good. Better than good to me. So, so many, many doors you open. open. So many, many ways you made. So many times you heal me. You've been better than good to me. So many doors you open. So many ways you made. So many times you heal me. You've been better than good to me. So many doors you open. So many ways you made. So many times you heal me. You've been better than good to 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 me. You've made ways out of You've been better than good to me. You've opened doors. You've been better than good to me. You've touched my body. You've been better than good to me. We're believing for healing. You've been better than good to me. You've made ways out of nowhere. You've been better than good to me. 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 Cause you've been yes, Lord, yes, Lord, so good. Yes, Lord, thank you, Lord. You've been yes, Lord, yes, Lord, so good. You've been so good. If you know Hallelujah. that God has been good to you, yes, God. open up your mouth. Hallelujah. I know we have a mask, but you can open up yes, your God. mouth yes, God. and give God yes, glory. God. Yes. Hallelujah. We came to praise the Lord on today, yes. and we came to give him glory because he's a mighty good God. And praise. We owe him praise, and we came to praise his name on today. Come on, let me get you to put your hands together. Pray. 
so I can hear the master say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. Woo, enter into the joy of the life. Yeah, let me tell you something, people of God. We are living to live again. Woo. This life that I'm living, I'm living to live again. Because I just want to hear him say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. The reading of the word of the Lord. We're trying to hold it together here in the sanctuary. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. But, but, but I feel a well of water springing up on the inside. I feel praises coming up on the inside. The reading. to God. Mother, I tell you, I feel like praising him this morning. I think of the goodness of Jesus. Sister Tanika, when you think of what God is doing, glory to God, when you think of what you've already been through, whenever you think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's already done, that my soul, Brother Leroy, can't do nothing but say hallelujah. Woo. Let me get the word of God because you know what? I can't start thinking because whenever I start thinking about what God has already done in my life, woo, what he has already done, and the praises of God come up out of my belly. Glory to God. Woo. When I think, you know for yourself some of the stuff that you've been through, you ought not be here today. But oh, thanks be unto God that giveth us the victory. Because the mess where I was, what I was in, what I came through. Look at, and I, I don't like to look back too long of the mess that the Lord brought me through. Of the trials that he brought me through. Of the tribulation that he brought me through. But sometimes I just glance back. Whoop, hey! And then I can't do nothing but to praise God. What was meant to kill you? What was meant to take you out of here? What was meant to bring you down? You can holler this morning, I survived. I am a survivor. I am a survivor. Woo. Let me, let me get, me to the pop, let me get the word of God. Cause when I think that I survived it, <laughs> It was meant to destroy me. But thanks be unto God that giveth us the victory. The reading of the word of the Lord. Evangelist Randall is coming with the reading of the word of the Lord. And those who are watching online, just excuse us because we feel the Holy Ghost fire in this place on this morning. Glory to God. to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. If I can read verse 3 again. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. And the reading of God's holy word is blessed on this morning. Amen. 
Amen, amen. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Though it's hairy, you just wait on it. Glory to God. Though it's taking a little bit of time, you just keep on waiting on God. Because the word of God said, it shall surely come. Simply meaning that affirmatively, positively, that it's going to come to pass. So just continue writing the vision and wait on it. Don't change. Don't change. Because let me tell you something. When you put it into the atmosphere, the devil comes to try to block it. But you just keep on waiting on God. He's going to do it. The voices of deliverance, my God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. It's going to come back with another selection. Amen. But you just write the vision. Might have been a long time since you've been praying a long time about something. You've been praying and praying and look like it ain't going to happen. But you just keep on waiting on it. Because the Lord will and shall bring it to pass. The voices of deliverance. Hallelujah. Let's go higher in the Lord. On How many of us know that the Lord is high above the heavens? And he encompasses all of the earth. And everything that he says shall come to pass. So we give God the highest praise, which is hallelujah. And we trust in him because he is God. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, put your hands together. The Lord is high above the heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens. And his glory above all nations. And his glory above the nations. The Lord is high above the heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens. And his glory above all nations. And his glory above the nations. The Lord is high above the heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens. And his glory above all nations. And his glory above all nations. The Lord is high above the heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens. And his glory above all nations. And his glory above the nations. Give God the highest praise in our religion. Him always, and all the people say, Halle, Halle, Hallelujah, Halle, 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 the Lord is high above the heavens and the glory above our nation. And the glory above the nation. I said the Lord is high above our heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens and the glory above our nation. And the glory above our nation. The Lord is high above the heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens and the glory above our nation. And the glory above the nation. Come to give God the highest praise and knowledge in Him always, and all the people say Hallelujah. And the glory above the heavens. Oh, the Lord is high above our heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens. And the glory above our nation. And the glory above the nation. The Lord is high above the heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens. And the glory above our nation. And the glory above the nation. We come to give God the highest praise and knowledge in Him always. And all the people say, Holy, Holy, Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. 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 H
Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. We give the Lord praise on this morning. You may be seated in this house. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. We say hallelujah. And we give God the praise. We certainly thank God for you. We thank God for our viewing audience on this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. We want you to know that we are praying, praying for you. Oh yes, we are praying for you. Every week, every day, we are praying for you. We certainly thank God for the youth here at the Agape Deliverance Church of God in Christ. Amen. This is Black History Month. And every Sunday during the month of February, our youth spotlight a black black history and we want to take this time to do our spotlight on black history black history month we have a great heritage we have a great heritage do not let the media try to dissuade you that we all are not doing anything. But we have great people and we have had great people in our culture and in our race. And it will continue to be so. Why? Because number one, the youth here at the Agape Deliverance Church of God in Christ, I want you to know I see you in the future and you look much better. You are leaders in our future. And we thank you so much for your participation and support of your church. Our youth here is not the church of tomorrow, but they are the church of today. Let me say that so y'all don't get it. We always speak of youth as tomorrow, but I'm here to tell you that they are the church of today. But on today, on today, sister, Janiah Mayo is going to come and share black, her black history moment with the people of God. Let's receive this young lady who has a bright future in ahead of her, Sister Janiah. Good morning. My 17-year-old brother was gunned down while walking home from the store. He only went to get Skittles and tea. That brother of mine is Trayvon Martin. Can I ask why hoodies often people or is it the color of my skin? My uncle begged for his life while a cop had his knee on his back of his neck for nine minutes. The uncle I am speaking of is George Floyd. Why no one step up to help him? My aunt Breonna Taylor, say her name was gunned down while she slept peacefully on her own bed. Bullet after bullet hit her body, but still no justice for her. Say her name. Can I ask the questions? Is this supposed to be led for free? But why can't live? We are back history. Change is coming. Amen, amen, amen. Say her name, Breonna Taylor. Say his name, George Floyd. Say his name, Trayvon Martin. And say the name of many thousands of other black young men and black daughters that have been gunned down senselessly. Say the name of those who have been killed in the black community by the black race. Glory to God. We're not leaving that out. Glory to God. Because they should be here today to tell their story. To tell their story. Hallelujah. We must stop this black on black crime. We must get our police force in line. Come on now. We must encourage 
our children to go to school and get an education, not to rob others of their hard-earned money, of their hard-earned dollars, not to, to resort to drugs as a way of escape, but to let them know that you can make it. The Black National Anthem. Hallelujah. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Bring with the harmony of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies. Let it resound loud as a rolling sea. Come on and lift your voice with us. Sing a song full of the hate that the dark past has taught us. is one. So need the road we try, bitter the chasing rod, felt in the days when hope every voice and sing let us continue to march on let us continue to fight on until total victory is won yes we can ride anywhere we want to sit, sit anywhere on the bus that we want can want to sit we can live in any neighborhood we want to but i'm here to tell you this morning that there is still systemic racism therefore therefore the church must stand up. The church must cry out against injustices. The church has to be a beacon light in our community. And as I often say here at the Agape Deliverance Church, we are not a social club. We are not a social club. We are here to uplift our people, to be a beacon light to all people, to be a, a church that treat everyone, regardless of your socioeconomic status, the same. We are here to uplift each other. God bless you. We certainly thank you, Sister Janaya, for a wonderful job on this morning. Thank God for Elder Chris, amen, Lady Brittany, and all of the staff that has worked with our youth on Black History Month. Yes, today is February 28th, and technically Black History is, is over, but let me tell you something. We ought to be proud every day. We ought to be encouraging each other every day. God bless you. Let's put those hands together and give God praise.
on today. Woo. Hallelujah. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, the fire is yet burning. It is yet burning. Today at Agape Deliverance is the Women's Day, it's Missionaries Day, the evangelists, the ministers, the, our female ministers, and yes, they, they are carrying the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's what a minister is. They're not less than. Come on now. But today is Women's Day, and our female ministers will be sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's give them a hand. There are helpers here at the Agape Church with, along with me and supportive of their pastor. Our speaker today is none other than Evangelist Claritha and Nelson. Amen. We thank God for this young woman of God who has a word deep down. You know, sometimes I have to throw the middle name in. Mm -hmm. Glory to God to let you know I haven't forgot about that middle name. That they are, she has a word from the Lord. She loves the Lord. She loved the people of God. She is the mother of five, amen, the grandmother of many, amen, and she is married to Brother Tim Nelson, and let me put it out there, our trustee here at the Agape Deliverance Church of God in Christ, amen. This young woman loves the Lord. She is a praiser. She is a praiser. She is a praiser. Not only is she a praiser, but she is a giver. And God has been tremendously blessed this young woman of God. After this selection from the Voices of Deliverance, we want to rest on our feet and receive, and receive the speaker of the hour, Evangelist Claritha and Nelson, after the Voices of Deliverance. Amen. Hallelujah. How many of us know because of who he is, that all things are possible because he's Jehovah Jireh. We are able to be healed because he's Jehovah Rapha, our provider, that everything will be all right if we just trust in him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Because of who you are, I give you glory because of who you are I give you praise because of who you are I will lift my voice and say Lord I worship you because of who you are, Lord, I worship you because of who you are, because of who you are, I give you glory, it's because of who you are. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Because of who you are, because of who you are, I will live, I will live my voice and say, Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Can we just say that one more time? Because of who you are, I give you glory. I give you glory. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Come on, let's sing it out. Because of who you are, because of who you are, I will live. Jehovah Nisi, Lord, you reign. 
My God, my God, saints of God, let me tell you, you're all in my stuff. I told, I text Melanie this morning. I said, Melanie, I got two scriptures. I didn't know where I was going to come from. One of them was, tell yourself, out of 1 Samuel. But I got here to church this morning, and the praises of God was going forth. So my scripture on this morning is going to be coming from Psalms 34, verses 1 through 3, and verse 8. And it reads as thus, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. Oh, taste and see that the Lord. 
God is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. That verse 8 says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. You may be seated in the house on this morning. Oh, glory to God, but I feel something down on the inside. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. And if I had to put a topic on this morning, it would be I got to praise and I got to get it out. Huh. Saints of God, you don't hear me this morning. I got to praise and I got to get it out. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, oh God. I got to praise and I got to get it out. I got to praise and I got to get it out. I don't know about you, but the Lord has been good to me. I don't know if he's done anything for you, but the Lord has been good to me. Every time I turn around, he is blessing me. Every time I turn around, he is blessing me. I got a praise down in my belly, and I got to get it out. I came to church on purpose this morning to give God the glory and to give God the praise. I came to church on purpose this morning to give God some glory and to give God the praise. I don't know about you this morning. I don't know the hell you've been through on this week. But I'm telling you right now, if you open your mouth, if you open your mouth, if you open your mouth and give God some glory, Oh God, oh God, oh God, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, I dare you to open your mouth, I dare you to open your mouth, I dare you to open your mouth and give God some glory. Give God some praise. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Saints of God, let me give you this message. Mm, God. I'm going to be skipping over some stuff because I feel God. Because I feel God. I feel God. I feel him down in my sanctified soul. I feel him, saints of God. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Da, 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 bo, shiki, si, ha. Oh glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Ha. Oh God, oh God, I'm trying to attain it. Ha, yada, ba, 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 she, ha. Oh glory to God. Mm, Jesus. Ha. Oh God, oh God. Ha. Oh glory to God. Hallelujah. Ha. Have a seat, saints. Ha. Oh God, let me give you some background. Huh? David discovered the power of praise, uh, that it can usher you into the presence of the Lord, uh, give you a heavenly vision, lift you from your troubles, and triggers the supernatural. As a matter of fact, uh, David found praise to be so empowering that he declared that he would continually praise God, uh, no matter the circumstances he faced. Uh, Many Christians suffer defeat uh, because they do not know the power of their praise. Uh, David had to discover it, uh, and it changed his perspective on his troubles. Uh, what does praise mean um, to you? Praise God. Uh, praise means to speak well of, to glorify. Uh, praise is exciting. Uh, after all, when we come before the living God, uh, it is a moment that's awesome, uh, exciting, uh, if you really take to heart who God is. Praise is the joyful experience of coming before God's presence to worship him. In Psalms 34, David praises, blesses, boasts in the Lord, magnifies the Lord, and seeks him. 
Praises should be a celebration at times, a noisy one at other times, a quiet one with reverence unto the Father. But I come to you this morning. There is nothing wrong with dancing. There is nothing wrong with running around the church. Let me tell you the truth. I will be the first to say I love to praise God in the dance. But God gets the most fulfillment when we open our mouth and praise him. The Bible says in Hebrews 13 and 15, therefore, by him, let us continually offer the sacrifices of praise. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Proverbs 18 and 21 says, the tongue can bring death or life. Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. So watch what you say. The Bible says in Psalms 81 and 10, I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide, and I will fill it. The Lord is saying to you and to me on this morning, it was I who brought you out of that situation. It was I who took you out of those streets. It was I who gave you that new home. It was I who gave you that increase. It was I that did that, let the enemy have his way. Uh, it was I who protected you from danger seen and unseen. Open your mouth this morning and say something. Uh, open your mouth and give God a sacrifice of praise this morning. You will make the devil nervous and you will make him mad when you open your mouth and give God the praise. Uh, the devil is saying this morning, I know Mother Allen is not going to praise me after all the hell I put her through. The devil is saying, I know he's not going to praise me after I took everything away. The devil is saying, I know she's not going to praise God with all that pain and brokenness. Pastor and the people of God and those who's watching me via Zoom and Facebook, you don't know what you have just done to the devil on this morning. Uh, you gave that devil a black eye uh, and you gave him a busted lip uh, because he didn't understand that we was going to come and praise God the way we did. Uh, oh, Jesus, uh, I don't mean to shout and scream in your church. So I dare you this morning, my sisters and brothers, uh, to bless the Lord. Mm. I dare you to put all else to the side and bless the Lord. I dare you to open your mouth and shout, I bless the Lord. The Bible says in Psalms 22 and 3, God inhabits the praises of his people. Oh, let me tell you this morning why we praise him. Praises bring us closer to God. Praises discharge a mighty power from on high. Praises elevate us into God's presence. We praise God because he is worthy to be praised. We praise God because he's pleasing to our Father. We praise God because it's the right thing to do. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. How many know that in the time of trouble, you need to have a blessed God? You have to have a anyway praise, no matter what it looks like. If the King David was here today, I believe he would say, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. If I'm going to die, let me die praising the Lord. I got to praise God down on the inside of me. Oh, Jesus. Does anybody have a blessed God praise down on the inside of them this morning? We had a powerful testimony. Be seated in this house on this morning. We had a power testimony service on last Sunday that was second to none. And saints of God, if you could have saw what I saw in the spirit, there were blessings and healings and miracles all in the atmosphere. The Lord is not through working miracles. The Lord is not through healing. My God, oh my God. I speak the blessings that is about to overtake the people of God. 
it's about to run you down huh? if you open your mouth and praise the Lord. Huh? I come to tell you this morning, uh, the Lord's had blessings with your name on it. Uh, the devil do not want you to praise God. Uh, but if you open your mouth this morning, uh, you will change your story. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, I got a praise down on the inside. Uh, and I got to get it out. Uh, I found out this, saints of God, that when my praises go up, my blessings will come down. I heard someone say that if I praise God in his house, uh, he is turning around at my house. Uh, so if you see me praising the Lord, uh, it's not because I need anything from him. Uh, it's because I understand that the devil cannot stand my praise. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, the devil sits in church as well. And if you are next to someone who does not want you to praise God, uh, please tell them, excuse me, <laughs> but I got to praise and I got to get it out. Uh, the Lord just blessed me and my family. And if you have not received your blessings, uh, trust me, it is on its way. Uh, I come, I come, I come, I come uh, to tell someone this morning uh, that the day you began to pray, <laughs> about the situation uh, the Lord was already working it out uh, the Bible tells us uh, in Isaiah 59 and 19 and 8 B when the enemy shall come in like a flood the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him uh, this is the very thing uh, that kept Job at the forefront of his situation uh, remember how the devil tried him uh, he told Job uh, Mm, I'm going to make you curse God and die. But Job came through that situation with flying colors. Job proclaimed, the Lord give it and the Lord take it away. We must learn how to bless God from both sides. Lord give it, bless God. The Lord take it, bless God. When I'm up, bless God. When I'm down, bless God. When I have money, bless God. When I'm broke, bless God. When I'm working, bless God. When I'm laid off, bless God. When I'm feeling well, bless God. When I have aches and pains, bless God. When I'm under Understood, huh? bless God, huh? when I'm misunderstood, huh? bless God, huh? when I'm calm, huh? bless God, huh? and when I'm stressed, huh? bless God. Huh? So Job tells us huh? in 13 and 15, huh? though he slay me, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Huh? Praise and worship keeps our service on high. We need to learn how to bless the Lord on purpose. I heard someone say, saints of God, they called it a premeditated praise. Don't come to church to think about how good God has been to you. You should have already have done that before you left your home. Don't wait for the pastor or the praise team huh, to warm you up huh, or the presider to get you where you need to be as a cheerleading coach huh, and to tell you to open your mouth. Huh, as a matter of fact, uh, as a cheerleader, as my young, young girls would say, they have to open their mouth uh, to be heard. You can't go out there and be a cheerleader and not be heard. So as a cheerleader, you got to open your mouth uh, so you can be heard. Oh, glory to God. And that is what the Father is saying to us. He wants the church uh, to open the mouth. Uh, when you open your mouth, uh, the devil gets nervous. Uh, when you open your mouth, uh, hell begins to tremble. Uh, that's why David proclaimed uh, Psalms 121 and 122 and 1. Uh, I was glad when they said unto me, uh, let us go into the house of the Lord. Uh, you should come to church ready to praise the Lord. Uh, David said his praise uh, shall continually be in my mouth. Uh, I'm not just going to look for thankful. I'm not just going to look thankful. Uh, I'm going to say thank you. Uh, thank you for make room for more. Uh, anybody remember, excuse me, anybody ready to bless the Lord this morning? Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, don't allow your situation 
to rob you of your praise. Don't allow your pain and brokenness uh, to rob you of your praise. Uh, don't let your current situation uh, to rob you of your praise. Uh, David lets us know that it's not the place, saints of God, that makes a difference. It's God the Father that makes the difference. Uh, look at what he says. Uh, from the midst of his cave, he identifies why he, he will bless the Lord. Psalms 34 and 4. Freed from my spear. Psalms 34 and 6. Uh, delivered me from trouble. Psalms 34 and 7. He guided me. Uh, Psalms 34 and 8. Uh, he showed me kindness. Uh, Psalms 34 and 9. Uh, he supplied all my needs. Uh, Psalms 34 and 15. Uh, he listened when I talked to him. Uh, Psalms 34 and 22. Uh, he redeemed me. Uh, and I'm going to leave you with this. Uh, and I said this before. Uh, a full gospel widow settled near a country church with a timid pastor. Uh, when she get blessed during the sermon, She'll say, praise the Lord. That would throw the preacher off his subject and disturb him. Whether, whether the weather got cold and she was poor, the preacher made her a deal. I will buy you a blanket if you stop saying praise the Lord. After consideration, she said, yes, I'll try. She did good for a while, surpassing her urges uh, when she felt the spirit uh, but that then one Sunday uh, the preacher actually got anointed uh, and stirred her up uh, the living waters uh, of the spirit began to flow uh, the joy bells uh, in her soul began to ring uh, the cork uh, about to pop out of the bottle uh, and at last uh, she could not stand it no longer uh, her hands went up in the air with a joyful shout, she said, blankets or no blankets, I will praise the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. I don't care what they do. I don't care how you feel. Just bless the Lord on this morning. Oh, glory to God. So I come to tell someone this morning, don't let the devil buy your silence. Don't let the devil blackmail you in keeping your mouth shut. Let me serve notice to the devil right now. I will not let you steal my praise. Your praises will not be like pastors or evangelists or the mothers because our praises are different. But when the Bible tells you, here we go again with the open mouth. Uh, when the Bible tells you, it ain't me and it is not our pastor. But when the Bible tells you to open your mouth uh, and you do not do it, uh, guess what, my dears and sirs? Uh, you are being disobedient uh, to the Lord. Uh, and you wonder why your blessings are being held up. Uh, I know too much about God. Uh, and there's nothing uh, you or the devil can say. Uh, I got to praise uh, down on the inside of me. Uh, and I got to get it out. Uh, I'm not sure where you are in this house. Uh, open your mouth and bless God. Uh, you, if you're watching me via Zoom, uh, open your mouth and bless God. Uh, if you're watching me via Facebook, uh, open your mouth and bless God. Uh, church, you got to open your mouth. Uh, you got to open your mouth. Uh, you got to open your mouth. Uh, you got to open your mouth uh, and bless the Lord. Uh, he said it in his word uh, that if you open your mouth, uh, he will fix it. So open your mouth and bless the Lord. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I understand. I understand that when I praise him, my blessings come down. Saints of God, he's been too good to me. And I cannot tell it all. I will bless him. I don't care who nerve I get on. I'm going to bless him. Huh? 
If you got a nervous condition, I suggest you take something for your nerves because I come to bless the Lord. I don't come to church to sit on my hind pots and not to give God the glory. I come to give him the praise. I come to lift up his holy name. You don't understand like I understand. He's been too good to me. He's been too good to me for me not to praise him. I got to praise and I got to get it out. I come on purpose to give God the glory, to give God the honor, and to give God the glory. Oh, bless his wonderful name. Facebook, open your mouth and praise the Lord. Zoom, open your mouth and praise the Lord. Open your mouth, church, and praise the Lord. We're back in the hands of our leader. Hallelujah. I, I got to praise. I got to praise and I got to get it out. I got to praise. Oh, I, I got to praise. I got to praise and I got to get it out. I got to praise. I, I got to praise. I got to praise and I got to get it out. I got to praise. I, I got to praise. I gotta praise and I gotta get it out. I gotta praise. I I gotta praise. I gotta praise and I gotta get it out. I gotta praise. Now, now, right here, right here, wherever you are, your praise this morning is opening up your mouth. And, 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 and we're all going to open up our mouth and we're going to holler Jesus to the top of our lungs. One, glory to God, I got to praise. I will bless him at all times and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Two, hallelujah, in spite of everything, in spite of everything, Mother Allen, glory to God, you yet got to praise. Hallelujah. Three, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Now, now, wait. Hold on. Hold, hold, hold on a minute. Some of y'all who are sitting at home or in your cars or wherever you are, you're looking. You say, well, I don't want anybody to think I'm crazy. If you need the blessings of God, you got to open you. We're going to do it again. And, and what are you doing? When you holler, when you holler, when you holler, when you praise God, you're releasing frustration. Woo! One, I got to praise. Woo! Glory to God. Minister Holiday, I got to praise. Two, regardless to sneak of what the doctor say, mother got to praise. She can't be here today, but you're going to praise him for her. You're going to open up your mouth for her. Come on now. Woo! Oh! Woo! Three! Yeah! Glory to God! Do it, Lord! Do it, God! Yes, Lord! Do it, God! Do it, God! In the name of Jesus! In the name of Jesus! Oh, God! Oh God, do it, Lord. Do it. God. We're opening up our mouth. Open your mouth. Yes, Lord. Open your yes, mouth. Lord. Give him praise. Yes, Open your mouth. Yes, Lord. Open your mouth. Hallelujah. Open your mouth. Hallelujah. Open your mouth. Hallelujah. Yay. Hallelujah. Yay. Hallelujah. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. And give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Woo! Yay! Woo! Hallelujah! Woo! Yay! Hallelujah! 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 Be healed! Be healed! Be healed! Be healed! Be healed! 
This is Pastor Rouse. I want to personally thank you for joining us today in our morning worship service. And I also want you to know not to get weary in well-doing because in due season, you shall reap if you faint not. And I decree right now that it is we are praying for you and we are praying with you. And if you would like to reach out to us, please do so. You can either do so through Facebook Messenger or you may call area code 804-229-3457. God bless you. Have a blessed week on this week. And know this, that no weapon formed against you shall prosper.